All right, guys, this is Jacob from Wager Me This, and I got Justice here with me. Yep. And he's going to be shooting because we're just going to do another horn progression video. This is the other one I told you I had. All right, so I got $520 here, right? So there's $100, $400, so it's $520. Okay, so that's how this starts. And the idea behind it is these are to keep track of rolls, right? So we start with a $4 horn, and we do that three times. And then we go... Up a, up a dollar to an eight dollar horn and we do that for four times and then five times and then six times as we go up a dollar right that the progression plus the one extra time it makes it to where you never catch the product you never catch the payout odds uh, that way you always win money on a hit a all right so just to shoot so we're not going to worry about it just playing on random shooters so Justice is gonna shoot. Here we it, go. It's four hard dice. And we have a nine. Six three nine. Okay. Uh, so that's shot number one. Alright, just to shoot again. And shot number two is a three one four. So again, this is a horn progression, so you could go way way into the shots and and not get there you should get 33 shots and there's a hard six Bubba, come on man all right so that's shot number three so this one we're going to go up to the two dollars on each one all right justice so we start over now we have four shots them don't count. Okay, even though I rolled a horn number, some of these don't have all the numbers on them, just as I told you not to shoot those. Them dice aren't right. Don't. Alright, 639. 639. Okay. That's one shot. Remember on this one we're going four times. Right? So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get uh, fifteen dollars in whites. Here. Stop, Justice. All right, Justice. Shoot. And there's another nine. Okay. And we go four rounds on this one. We have to get some more whites. Shoot. Yeah. As long as you use the red or the black ones. Four, three, seven. All right. So we got one more round. That's a two dollar level or the eight dollar level, however you want to call it. All right. Here we go. And we got a hard six. All right, so that's the fourth roll. So now we're going to go up to three dollars on each one. I'm going to get twenty in whites. I know one rack is twenty in whites. And we're going to shoot this level five times. All right, Justice, go. Remember, we started with five hundred twenty dollars. There's a hard eight. And the reason I'm taking them down every time is because it seems like if I don't, there's always someone that says I did the mechanics wrong and I don't want people to think I'm doing the mechanics wrong. Here you go, Justice. I'm, I'm not running the strategy right. And there's another hard eight. Okay. $12. 10 weights. So again, this could be very drawn out, but 
most likely within 33 rolls. Dad, can I roll some blue dice? Sure. You're going to hit. And there's a hard four. That's the third loss. You're up another $12. I'm not going to, now that you guys know what I'm doing, I'm just going to replace it with the 12. Oh, I thought we had it there. There's a three, one, four. Okay. So we get one more round at this level, $12. Here you go, Justice. And we got a three. All right. So on the fifth round here, he rolls it, a three. So now what you do is you just take the payment and you rack it all up and you go to the fourth level, right? So the fourth level obviously is $4 on everything and you go six times. All right, so that right there is $45 winner. Rack it all up. And we're going to be $4 on everything. Ding -a -ling -a, ding -a -ling. I'm going to get 100 in reds. I'm going to get 75 or 80 and 20. That's what I'm going to get. Remember, this is profit. We're going to leave that profit money over there. All right, Justice, hey, Dad. shoot it. Dad, I have an idea. We could send a picture of what you could really spike your head. Nice, Justice. Dad, we could... Uh, Two, one, three. We could, Dad. Come on, man. You could spike your hair up and, put, and make the hair kind of go into dice. And it'd be so cool. And a picture... You think so? Your fans. All right, sixty dollar winner. Remember, we're gonna run all the way through it, so this is just profit. This goes with it. All right, so now we need another sixteen dollars out there, guys. I'm gonna just do it like this, okay? Sixteen. All right, just to shoot. After this, and we got a nine. Another sixteen dollars. I'm going to beat the roll. Okay, shoot one more time. I see two more. Okay. Yeah, this is my last one. And we got a hard eight. Okay, so it's going to lose 16. We're going to have to replace it. All right. Remember, we're going six on this one. And there's the seven. $16. Going six rounds on this one. All right, Justice said he's done he tapped out so I'm gonna shoot these bone thrower dice and we got an eight we got one more round at this level okay here we go and a hard six all right so that's the sixth one all right, so now we're going to move up to the $5 level, which you always got two more than what the denomination is. So this is $20. We're going to go seven shots. And there's an eight. There's one. So I'm going to drop this quarter and get five back. Oh, there's a three. Okay, so it's going to win 75. Rack it over here. Drop this. Okay, next shot. And there's a nine. Okay, so drop a quarter and get five. And there's a six, four, two. 
drop a quarter, and get five. Okay, we got three more shots at this round. Okay, and there's an eight. And there's a seven. Okay, so this will be our last shot at this round. We really would like to hit one of these bigger ones. And there's a six. Just can't seem to get them to get there. All right, uh, so that would lose. All right, so this is our last round. This is a $6 round. Everything is six bucks. So it makes 20, it's $24 play like this. All right, we'll roll it out. Six, five, yo, so that's a good one. All right. That's going to play $75, $90. Put up a quarter here, get a dollar back. That means we have six on each one. Here we go. Oh, I thought we were going to get a good one. Drop a quarter, get a dollar back. Hard six. Drop a quarter, get another bag. Remember, I just rolled this random. Six, four, ten. Drop a quarter, get another bag. Oops, not take a dollar, get a dollar. You know, most likely if you would have been rolling a controlled shot for this, you probably would have hit some more. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Drop a quarter, get a dollar. And five, five. I don't know how my money came off. I must have either missed one or something like that because I, my money's off 10. So it seems like I missed one at that $5 level maybe. And a 426. Okay, so we didn't quite make enough hits. Part of the reason is, is we didn't hit no twos or twelves out of 33 rolls. That should have been 33 rolls. It might not have been. Uh, it was pretty close. But so we lost about half our money. And, and it all is based in that we didn't hit no twos or twelves or we didn't hit an abundance of horn numbers. We didn't even come close to the average. Out of 33 rolls, you should hit about four horn numbers, possibly five. So on average, and we didn't do that. All right. So again, it's relatively simple. It's a simple progression and you could adjust it. You could start with one and then go to two and then three and then four and then five, and then just do it as the same rolls up. But the problem is, is you still have to hit horn numbers. If you don't hit horn numbers, obviously it won't work. Horn progressions, I think, in my opinion, are not built to be as a strategy, but they're a neat side game to play. All right, so if you if you have the money to play them on the side, they could be really profitable. For whatever reason, when I've showed both of these videos, I just didn't roll any horn numbers. But then I show other videos and I roll hundreds of horn numbers. So I don't really know what's going on there. Uh, one difference is I've been setting the dice in the other videos. So maybe I'll do another set of videos here where I actually set for, for a horn and see if I get any more. I don't know that I will, but we'll just see. Anyways, guys, this is Jacob from Wedge Me This, and you guys have a great day.